Okay, this is one finished leg. You can see the um, part you stuffed there. These are the double crochets, and these are the single crochets at the top. This is where you fasten it off. So now we're over here. This is the part where we are going to start the um, double crochets for the knot. Oh, sorry, there's one last single crochet. Okay, now I have a total of eight there. See, and now here is where we are making the double crochets. So I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to double crochet right there. And I'm going to go around and each stitch. So you will have a total of eight double crochets. This is my last double crochet, number eight. And now I'm going to attach to the first with a slip stitch. And now I'm going to chain two and then repeat around. So another eight double crochets around here. You're going to continue that for a total of 10 rows. And here I am on that last double crochet on the 10th row of double crochets. This is the part that you will knot. It doesn't need to look awesome because obviously it'll be knotted. So now I'm going to chain one and in each double crochet round, I am now going to single crochet increase. So two in that stitch and then two in the next. So you will now have a total of 16 single crochets in, in this row. Okay, so now I'm going to slip stitch to this. We're not working in the round because we've been chaining. And um, chain one. And now I'm going to just single crochet in each one around. So that will be a total of 16 again. Um, this is the only part where you will, cro where you will attach the first stitch with a slip stitch and then chain. From here on out, you will be working in the round just like you were doing for the bottom part of the foot. So this is how you will make the legs. There is another video showing how you will attach them. Okay, I'm going to show you how I tie the knots in my snuggler's legs. So they've already been attached and the only part of this that is stuffed is the foot. This can sometimes make it a little bit tricky getting it through the hole, but it's very squishy. I don't overstuff. And so I just wiggle it and squish it through. On the every knot, I try to make it so that the legs kind of turn inward so that the foot is facing in a little bit bow-legged so that's what I'm doing here and then for the next um, knot I flip it over and do it exactly the same it's just like facing the wrong way but that actually makes it face the right way so that both legs kind of go in um, and match each other Just a few adjustments and I pull it tight. I try to make sure the knots aren't too tight um, so that I can kind of adjust as needed. And there you go.